This is a story about love and how love and beauty are more powerful than wickedness and jealousy. Many years ago, there was a tiny, beautiful kingdom in a faraway place. Now this kingdom was ruled by a kind and good king who had a lovely and gentle wife as his queen. The tiny kingdom glowed in the magic of their love, and they had a daughter who was the most beautiful child the world had ever seen, and they called her Snow White. Sadly, shortly after Snow White was born, her mother, the good and noble queen, died of a mysterious illness, and the king soon remarried. This new queen was truly beautiful, but her beauty went no deeper than her skin. She was a wicked and cruel woman who was only happy when she was looking into one of her many mirrors. And when the good king perished while fighting a war in a faraway land, the new queen did not shed a single tear. For now she could tax the people heavily and use the money to buy all sorts of lotions and potions that would maintain her great beauty. And the people of the kingdom became sad and frightened. The queen had many, many mirrors, but by far her favorite was a magic mirror, which always spoke the total and absolute truth. For many years, several times each day, the vain queen would look into her magic mirror and ask the same question. Magic mirror, tell me do. Tell your mistress, tell her true. Answer me, obey my call. Who's the loveliest of all? And each time, the magic mirror would answer exactly the same way. The answer, queen, is crystal clear. You are most lovely far and near. <laughs> and then, one fateful day, the queen received an answer of a different sort. Yes, a very different sort indeed. Her skin is pure as a brand new snow. Her eyes set people's hearts aglow. Lips red as blood, hair black as night. The loveliest is fair Snow White. What? How can this be? I am the most beautiful woman in the land. I always have been and I always shall be. Treacherous mirror, how dare you say Snow White is lovelier than I? Your loveliness is great, tis true, but there is one more fair than you. For Snow White's beauty does begin where yours does stop, tis from within. <sighs> Send me my royal huntsman, immediately! So you understand what it is I want you to do, my loyal huntsman? But your highness... I ask you a simple question. Do you understand? Yes, your highness, I understand. Good. Because if for some reason you should fail, then tonight I shall be dining upon head of huntsman. Do I make myself clear? Yes, your highness. Then we understand one another. Now go! 
Don't worry, I won't take away your little hiding place. Oh, what a beautiful, glorious day! Have you ever seen such a lovely, sunshiny day, Huntsman? Even the sunniest of days may have its dark clouds, Princess. <laughs> oh, Huntsman, don't be so glum. You are beginning to sound just like my stepmother. Oh, I wish there were a way I could make her happy. You would not be so anxious to make the Queen happy if you knew why she sent us here. <laughs> I know. Let's pick some wild berries for my stepmother. Perhaps that will please her. Huntsman, what are you doing? I... I cannot do it. Huntsman, what is it? Run, princess, run for your life! My life? What are you talking about? The queen. She is jealous of your beauty. She has ordered me to slay you. Slay me? Your stepmother will do anything to see you dead. She wishes me dead? I cannot believe this. Surely you are mistaken. There is no mistake. You must flee. Run far as you can. Go. But what about you? If you disobey the queen... Run, I say! I shall never forget you, Huntsman. Nor I, you, Princess. Now quickly, you must go and never return. creature this forest has ever seen. Please, let me go! Who are you? What are you afraid of? Let me help you, please. After her! I must know who she is! Never have these eyes gazed upon such beauty. Never have I felt like this. Truly, I think this must be love. Sire, she has disappeared from sight. Tis true, sire. Perhaps she was a witch or a gnome. No, my friends. No one with a face like hers could be a witch or a gnome. I swear by all that I hold sacred, I shall find that girl, no matter how long it takes. And if I am lucky enough, she will become my princess. Snow White had never seen a place like this, but somehow she knew it was a safe place. Hello? Is there anyone at home? Hello? Can anyone hear me? said, is there anybody here? Oh my, what sweet little chairs. What a cute little table. Oh, what delicious looking food. This must be a house for children. There must be one, two, three, oh, seven of them. Oh, surely they won't mind if I take a little something. I'm so hungry from my journey. Uh, uh, oh, 
what nice little children must live here. I must try to stay awake long enough to thank them for their kindness to me. Now, what Snow White could not possibly know was that this house did not belong to children at all, but to dwarfs, seven of them, identical and all brothers. Somebody's been sitting in my chair. And using my spoon. And eating my soup. And my bread. And drinking from my cup. And nibbling at my fruit. And sleeping in my bed. Who is she? How'd she get here? Isn't she beautiful? Yes, but what's she doing here? It's just a girl. Shh, you wake her. But she's sleeping in my bed. Didn't anyone tell you that it's rude to wake someone up by yelling? No. Uh-uh. Nope. No way. But you're still in my bed. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah you know? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Who are you, anyway? Oh, that's right. We haven't been properly introduced. Only improperly awakened. I'm Snow White. Uh, true, you are a bit pale, dearie. But what's your name? Snow White is my name. Snow White? Kind of an unusual name, isn't it? Mm, I don't know. I never really thought about it before. May I inquire as to your names? I'm Sunbeam. Toadstool here. Fawn is my name. You can call me Hedgehog. Robin. Cricket. My name is Tadpole and you are still sitting on my bed. Oh, I am sorry. I am pleased to meet all of you. Well, little Miss Rainy Day, have you ever heard of a thing called trespassing? It's Snow White, and yes, I have. Oh, I'm so sorry, but I knocked and knocked and nobody answered, and the door was open, so I came inside, and I guess I just fell asleep. On my bed. I said I was sorry. But I was so tired from running, and I had no place else to go. And I had to get as far away from the queen, and... There, there. <laughs> Don't cry. Here! Why are you running from the queen? Well, not that you need an excuse, mind you. She is my stepmother. Look, I know that parents can be difficult sometimes, but that is no reason to run away. Fawn is right. You must go home. Your stepmother will be worried about you. But you do not understand. She wishes me dead. Dead? As in... Yes, I'm afraid it's true. But why? Why would anyone wish someone as lovely as you dead? The royal huntsman says it is because she's jealous. Well, it is true that the queen is a very vain and evil woman. The huntsman told you she is jealous of your beauty? There are stories in the kingdom about how she cannot stand for anything to be more beautiful than she is, which you definitely are. Why, thank you. I heard that she has her royal gardeners clip the heads off the royal rose bushes, in case the flowers are more lovely than she is. That is true. And I heard that on beautiful days, she orders all the palace curtains to be drawn so that no one can say the day is more lovely than she is. She told me it was because the flowers wouldn't bloom. Why, it's true. Everything you say is true. Then I say good riddance to her. Yeah, yeah let's yeah, go yeah, get that queen. I never oh, liked her oh, anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> All of you against the queen and her armed guards? Well, you got a point there. You can stay with us. Here? Really? For as long as you like. We'll protect you from that. That, uh... Shh. After all, it is her mother. Stepmother. A stepmother's love can be as deep and pure as any mother's. It is jealousy that has made her wicked. Still, I don't know, brothers. You don't really have much extra room around here. Oh, please. I would love to stay here with you. 
I won't take up much room, and in return I can cook for you and clean the house and mend your clothes and- Hang on! Hold it! If you're a princess like you say you are, how come you know how to cook and clean and sew? Doesn't everybody? No! no. Boys, this girl is too good to be true. Okay, you can stay. But you'll have to find someplace else to sleep. There you are, Sunbeam. I'm Fawn. Oh, sorry. And here's your lunch, Cricket. Hedgehog! Hedgehog, right. Robin? Nice try, but I'm Cricket. Oh, rats. Don't worry, I'll get it. It's time to break out the jerseys with our names on the back. Give her a chance, Robin. I'm your brother, and sometimes I'm not even sure who you are. I'm Tadpole. See? Listen, Snow White, if your stepmother hates you as much as you say she does, she'll stop at nothing to see you dead. Be very careful today. Don't let anyone you don't know near the house. Don't worry, I won't. Thank you again for all your kindness, Sunbeam. Right! So, the pretty little girl still lives. Curse that miserable huntsman! Very well. I'll simply have to take care of this little matter myself. It shouldn't be too difficult. She is such a guileless, innocent child. And once I have disposed of her, no one in the entire kingdom will be more beautiful than I. No one! <laughs> And so, Snow White had found a place to hide from her wicked stepmother. She was happy to help the dwarves, who had given her a safe place to stay. At least she thought it was a safe place. would suspect that someone as beautiful as I am would appear to be so ugly. <laughs> laces! Buckles! Belts! Bows! Who will buy my beautiful laces? Buckles! Belts! Bows! Well, hello there, weary traveler. What brings you to this remote part of the forest? Why, I am selling my wares, pretty thing. Would you care to see some lovely new laces for your gown? Certainly. What have you got? Oh, surely you're not frightened of old Granny now, are you? No, of course I'm not. But I am afraid I have no money to buy your lovely laces. Oh, well. Perhaps we can work something out, my dear. Here, let me show you how beautiful they will look on your dress. Well, all right then. Oh, they are lovely, aren't they? Oh, wait until you see them properly tied, my little one. Here, turn around so that I can tighten them for you. <laughs> Careful, ma'am, not too tight. It's getting a little difficult to breathe. That's the whole idea, dearie! <laughs> now we shall see who the loveliest in the land is. Did you see anyone today? 
Only an old woman selling her wares. The Queen! Snow White, didn't I warn you to beware of strangers? Oh, but she was just a sweet, harmless old woman. Harmless? Do you call this harmless? Are you saying that it was my stepmother? Only someone with mighty and terrible powers like the Queen could manage something like this. I'm so ashamed that I fell for her nasty trick. Don't be hard on yourself. The Queen is a very powerful sorceress. Well, anyway, you're safe now. Just be more careful in the future. Don't let anyone near the house, and especially don't let anyone near you. No. No, I won't. I'll remember. I promise. Thank you all for saving my life. Magic mirror, tell me do. Tell your mistress, tell her true. Answer me, obey my call. Who's the loveliest of all? She does enchant each one she meets. Her heart was still, but now it beats. And though you are a beauteous sight, you don't compare with fair Snow White. Ah! She lives! How can this be? Will I never be rid of this horrible child? Calm yourself. Calm, calm. Anger causes wrinkles. <sighs> Very well. If the laces fail to choke the life out of her, we will simply have to find something that will succeed. My will be done! Another working day Hip, hip, hooray Singing all the way Each day we arrive on time We work hard but we don't mind Summer, winter, spring or fall Happy workers, one and all Hip, hip, hooray Another working day Hip, hip, hooray Singing all the way should have stayed at home to protect her. Her? Who her? Who oh, her? You know. Me know? No. Not you, her. Who her? Snow White, that's who her. Well, why didn't you say so? I did say so. Did not. Did too. Hey, hey, knock it off, guys. Seriously, we can't guard her every minute of the day. She must learn to take care of herself. But she's merely a child. Even children must learn to watch out for danger. It may be the saddest of sad, but it's also the truest of true. But what if the Queen returns? The Queen will most likely not return. Remember, she believes that Snow White is dead. But the Queen has ways of knowing things. That's right, but what if she tries to kill Snow White again? Well, all I can say is, the Queen had better not dare to try anything again. If she does, I'll... <laughs> Why wasn't I just a twin? Snow White had learned her lesson. Although she was a trusting soul, she promised herself she would not be fooled again. 
It was a promise she should have kept. Excellent! No one could see through this disguise, but I must be careful not to frighten her. <coughs> Are you all right, sir? <coughs> uh, please, miss. Could an old man trouble you for a drink of water? Oh, of course. I thank you mightily, young miss. This wretched old throat gets so parched on the long journey I must make from the village. You are welcome, venerable sir. I would invite you in to rest a while, but I am forbidden to do so. Nonsense! Now that is good advice. One should always be careful of strangers, even old ones such as myself. Still, how much harm could an old man like you do? More than you'd suspect, dearie, more than you'd suspect. Here. Let me give you a small gift for your kindness to a thirsty old man. Oh, no, I couldn't. I merely gave you some water. Nonsense! An act of kindness deserves a reward. Here, take this comb for your hair. It is the most beautiful of my stock. Only your lovely black hair could make it seem more beautiful. Are you certain you want to give me the best one you have? Quite certain I am. Quite certain. Here, here, let me show you how it works. <laughs> oh, well, now. The poison that I placed on the teeth seems to be working quite well enough indeed. Goodbye, Snow White. Goodbye and good riddance! It is so seldom that I have visitors from other kingdoms, much less royal visitors. I am honored. Your Highness. You are far from your own kingdom, Your Highness. To what do I owe such a visit? Oh, most noble and powerful. And beautiful. And beautiful, Queen. I am on a quest. A quest, you say? Yes, a quest for true love. There is no better quest one could have. I have no choice in the matter. I have come here seeking the love of my life. I am flattered, dear Prince, of course. Uh, however, although you could not possibly tell to look at me, I am old enough to be your mother. Uh, slightly older sister. Oh no, Your Highness, you are mistaken. You are too kind. You do flatter me. But I truly am older than I look. I... I mean you are mistaken about my true love. The one I seek has raven hair and lips red as rubies. I have seen her but once, and I shall not forget that face. I have heard that you have a daughter. My daughter? Oh, you must mean my stepdaughter. I have heard tales of a beautiful princess who lives in this kingdom, and I thought perhaps... Well, you thought wrong. But... And I assure you, the reports of her beauty are greatly exaggerated. Her beauty is no match for my own, or oh, so I've been told. I am certain that must be true, Your Highness. Trust me, it is. Be that as it may, Highness, perhaps if I could meet her. Alas, she is no longer with us. My foolish huntsman took her to the forest not long ago and lost her. She has disappeared completely. Several hundred of my best men were unable to find her. She must have perished, eaten by some beast or... Perhaps even poisoned. But that is terrible to, to lose a child. You, you must be heartbroken. I am inconsolable. I know how you feel, for I too have lost the one person in my life that I truly love. How tragic for both of us. My heart aches for your loss, but I fear I cannot stay. For as long as the possibility remains that my true love exists, I must search for her. I shall search for the rest of my life, if need be, until I find her. 
Oh, she is fortunate to have one so devoted to her. What shall you do if you fail to find her? Or if, when you do, she is... Oh, I don't know. How shall I put this delicately? Dead? Then I shall die as well. Surely you cannot be serious. I have never been more serious. Either I shall find my love, or I shall die trying. I thank you for your time, Your Highness, and I wish you a speedy healing from your grief. Yes, thank you. Good luck on your quest. Thank you, Your Highness. I know I shall not fail. Don't look at me like that! Most of what I told him was the truth. After all, she is dead. Quickly, loosen her laces! She hasn't any laces. Well, then let's find some... What's this? What have we here? Hey, hey okay. okay. <laughs> All right. What? What happened? That's what we were wondering. I, I don't know. I gave an old man a drink of water, and he gave me a comb in gratitude. That's all I remember. Snow White? That was no old man! That was the evil queen! But he seemed so kind and so... old. It couldn't have been. No? Take a look at this! Remember what I told you, Snow White. The Queen will stop at nothing to see you dead. Her magical powers are mighty, and she can disguise herself as anything, anything at all. You must remember, or else the kindness in your heart will be the death of you. Yes, I will remember. I promise, I will remember. Perhaps one of us should stay home with you tomorrow. No, no, I will remember. I swear I will. Please, I don't want to be any more trouble to you. Trouble? Snow White, we love you. You're no trouble to us at all. Magic mirror, tell me do. Tell your mistress, tell her true. Answer me, obey my call. Who's the loveliest of all? Despite your efforts, noble queen, Snow White's the fairest to be seen. Even your jaded eye must see that she is fairer far than thee. What? Again? Those wretched dwarves! They have foiled me for the last time! I will devise a plan so cunning, so ruthless, that nothing will be able to save her this time! Nobody can be more beautiful than I am, especially that pitiful little schoolgirl. This time, Snow White shall die, and she shall stay dead forever! to buy some apples, miss? No, thank you. I don't want to seem rude, but you must go away from here quickly. Oh, but, but they're fresh. I just picked them from my father's orchard this morning. If I can sell them to you, I won't have to walk all the way to the village. I'm sorry. I don't want any apples. Oh, but miss, look, look how ripe and juicy they are. <laughs> it does look good. Remember what I told you, Snow White. But no. Thank you. There. <laughs> you see, miss? Even the wind wants you to stay outside long enough to try one of my apples. I don't think so. But thank you anyway. <laughs> oh, but miss, if I don't if I don't sell some apples, my father is going to punish me. Oh dear. <laughs> Sold a single one all day. Won't, won't you at least try one? I won't charge you a thing for a taste. How, how did you do that? Practice. Come on, I'll split one with you. Well, there. You see? Delicious. Go on, give it a try. 
It's free. Mm -hmm. This is good. Maybe I will. And maybe you won't. Dead, at last. You should have listened to your seven little friends, Snow White. Never talk to strangers, not even if they're children. <laughs> Then the laces. Uh, cut, cut loose her laces. There are no laces. Okay, oh, let's yeah, go. Someone get something. Get Holy, oh. I can't believe it. What are we going to do? How about... Stop! It's no use. She's gone. <laughs> no, boy. <laughs> Magic mirror, tell me do, tell your mistress, tell her true. Answer me, obey my call, who's the loveliest of all? Her voice is still, she breathes no air. Snow White's no longer the most fair. The answer queen is crystal clear. You are most lovely far and near. <laughs> now you're talking. <laughs> and there she lay. Snow White's goodness and kindness had so affected the dwarfs that they could not bring themselves to bury her. So they stood watching over her, hoping, praying for a miracle. be this cruel death spent all this time searching for the girl that was to be my princess to find her like this what has happened how did she die it was the work of that sorceress the evil queen snow white at last i know your name and it is too late too late may i take her with me what no never please i beg of you I will take her back to my palace and pay any price to the one who can revive her. I know it can be done. It must be done. For if her life is over, then so is mine. I shall find a way to reverse this cursed spell, for I'm certain she merely sleeps. I fear you are wrong, brave prince. But since it is clear that you love her as much as we do, maybe you can find a way to bring her back. It's worth a try. Take her then. I thank you, kind dwarfs, and I swear to you that when I do find a way to revive her, then you will be the first to know of the miracle. Men! Take care with her. She is the love of my life, and you must treat her gently. arms of the man who would be your husband, my love. My sweet, beautiful love. <laughs> and so it came to pass that beauty and kindness triumphed over evil and jealousy. The prince and Snow White were to be married, and everyone from far and near was invited to the celebration. Hmm. I do hope that the bride will not be too put out when I make my entrance at the wedding ball, for all eyes will surely turn toward me, the most beautiful woman in all the realm. Oh, what the heck. Magic mirror, tell me do. Tell your mistress, tell her true. Answer me, obey my call. Who's the loveliest of all? Your plan has failed, for can't you see? There is one more beautiful than thee. Skin 
fair as snow, hair black as night. Behold the fairest one, Snow White. Your jealousy has become a curse. Your luck has gone from bad to worse. You're passing through a magic door where you'll behold yourself no more. Your wicked face no more to see. You'll stay here for eternity. So welcome to my special place. And never more you'll see your face. And so Snow White and the Prince were married and ruled their kingdom together for many, many years. <laughs>